Yeah, I hope my presentation is food for thought. <laughs> Good news is that it's lunch immediately after. <clears throat> um, I've come with an open mind, that's why it's called Thinking Aloud, and it's about design. Um, thinking about cities is complex as we are seeking solutions that work for large numbers that are not necessarily homogeneous. Pre-planning of cities haven't exactly worked out as planned. Naturally, grown cities are more vibrant and have a character of their own, even though they have a lot of issues and problems. Solutions to multi-pronged complex problems need not always lie in the domain of management and governance. Design solutions created at the systemic level can bring about transformations usually at much lower cost and without unpleasant implications. This is, uh, uh, this is a specific case uh, of a road in Ahmedabad called the CG Road, where uh, <coughs> the municipal corporation started closing down uh, <coughs> buildings which had commercialized basement parking and which has led to severe parking uh, space shortage. Yeah. Now, um, this is, I mean, most of these pictures are sh shot not at peak times, so what you see is relatively uh, clean, but uh, at peak times, it's impossible to uh, move freely. Yeah. Now, see, uh, the problem became severe and uh, municipal corporations started uh, clamping down on, <coughs> and they've closed down many of them for uh, quite a length of time. Huh? Now, if you look at this road, you, you can see there is a uh, <coughs> footpath which is very tiny at one extreme end. Then there is a space immediately after that for vehicles to enter into the parking space, enter or exit. And then you have the parking, and then you have two-lane road on one side, and the same thing mirrored onto the next side. Uh, this is the cross-section of that. Now, <coughs> the actual problem is this. This is a street meant for shopping, but the shopper needs are neglected. There is shortage of visitor parking as the space is occupied by building occupants because the basement parking space has been converted into commercial spaces. Pedestrian space is almost absent or occupied by vendors and it's further reduced because the parking requires an entry or exit. And it is not pedestrian friendly because there are barriers between the roads making it difficult for you to cross the road you know, if you're on foot. <coughs> and very few places to uh, rest or have uh, food. Now, <coughs> when, like if you go to uh, malls or wherever, a shopping experience requires these kind of spaces. Now, for this uh, CG road problem, the solutions offered is like this, you pay an impact fee, which is close to uh, market rates, and regularize the illegal use of basement parking space. And create a multi-storied parking unit in the only open plot on that road, which is the municipal market. Yeah. But, this is not really solving the problem. An impact fee is only shutting your eyes. You're not solving any problem. But design has solved problems of CG Road before. Earlier, before in its present uh, uh, avatar, it was an eight-lane road, huh? four on each side. And it was a traffic nightmare. 
when it was designed so that movement was restricted to four lanes and the other rest of it was converted to parking which worked for some years you know it was meant it's a three and a half kilometer stretch and uh, meant for some 1700 two wheelers because Ahmedabad used to be full of two wheelers at one time and about 400 uh, four wheelers now of course things have changed dramatically so if design could do it once, it can do it again. This is, I mean, it's, it's, this is just a uh, 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 academic exercise done. This is what is possible. <clears throat> you create, if you create an elevated parking level huh, along the road, huh, need not be the complete road, but at specific stretches. This is what you can get. You can <coughs> increase pedestrian space, which is covered pedestrian space. You get covered parking on the lower floor, and you double parking on top. Huh? Which is, this is what it could look like it's not very nicely uh, visualized, but here you can see what is the what is possible. You know, it would be above two floors, so your signage, you know, which is onto the second floor, which is what is occupied. I mean, which is what is visible now. That would be retained. Then you get this covered space for walking, sun or rain, shouldn't matter. There could be additional lighting, etc. Now, two more flows above this come into prominence. So the actual value of your building goes up. And the corporation could encourage these units to connect to this level. You can create additional parking space. You can create open air spaces, etc. So, it, this uh, a design solution like this can change the character of a problem like this with um, multiple. Uh, I mean, in systems, what we call is you know how to introduce something at a leverage point. So, instead of getting new land and getting you know which is exorbitant you know in a space like that here you are using existing land but you are increasing the uh, value of it you create better shopping experience conditions for better shopping experience uh, my my point is just this you know it's it's about um, like we have seen these countdown meters at traffic junctions. Now, when you put that meter which counts down, it tells you how long you have to wait. Now, a small thing like that can bring down our anxiety levels. You know, it brings down pollution because you can shut off your vehicle. You know, it reduces to lesser road rage it reduces to, you know, peace. <laughs> now, we haven't done, you know, we are not telling the people that you have to, you know, do all these things. We actually make it happen by introducing something in that environment which is uh, strategically uh, introduced, you know. So one small meter brings about this large transformation. So my case is to my case is to uh, create design solutions systemically to understand this large complex problem and look for a design solution. That's it. thank you.